In this video, I'm going to show you how to make x-rays from static electricity. Good sources of static electricity include Van de Graaff generator machines and Wimshurst machines. In this video, I'm going to use a Wimshurst machine, which is connected to that vacuum tube. That's actually a rectifier tube. The cap at the top is the anode and the bottom pins go to the cathode. So electrons are going to fly off the cathode and hit the anode. We're not going to heat the filament. We're just going to use the uh, high potential that this generator can produce to cause a beam of electrons to flow from the cathode to the anode. This WIM search machine can, can uh, generate 250,000 volts. When the electrons strike that cap at the top of the tube, they decelerate and should generate some x-rays. I've got an aluminum shield and I've got a Geiger counter. This is a proper Geiger counter behind the aluminum shield. Right now we're picking up background radiation. Now I'm going to crank the Wimshurst and see if we can generate x-rays. So here goes. You can hear the counts increasing, and you can visualize them increasing right here. We're getting x rays produced, as you can see here. The x rays are going right through that piece of aluminum. Now I'm going to take this aluminum away and do the same thing again. The aluminum and the casing of the vacuum tube, as well as the plastic cover over the uh, detector, attenuates. We're back down to approximately background. I've taken off the plastic cap. Here goes again. Very high counts. So even less of the x-rays are filtered and most of the low energy x-rays can get into the detector. Now I'm doing a control experiment. I've disconnected the wires from the vacuum tube. It's staying at background. So that proves that all of the numbers being picked up on this counter were in fact x-rays. And at 250,000 volts on that tube, some of those are likely to be fairly high energy x-rays. I've now put a thick iron tray in between the detector and the tube. We're down at background. I'm sure this is going to attenuate most of the x-rays, so let's go. I saw some arcing in the tube just then. You can see it there. Some are actually getting through, as you can see here. So there's some pretty high energy x-rays being generated there. Arcing in the tube. I'll turn the lights down so you can see that better. 